Hello, Leanne. My name is Ahmed Isa. Would it be okay if I examined your tummy? Yes. I'm just going to wash my hands and be back in a second. Before examining the patient, we will have asked her to empty her bladder. This will allow us to perform the necessary urinalysis and also make her more comfortable during the examination. She will have her head on a small pillow and her abdomen exposed from the xiphysternum. After 20 weeks, she will lie either in the left lateral position or semi-recumbent at 15 degrees to prevent aortocaval compression, which might cause hypoperfusion to the fetoplacental unit and or maternal fainting. She would also already have had her blood pressure measured. Would it be okay if I examined your tummy? Yep, that's fine. Could you lower your leggings and expose your tummy? Take note of the patient's general demeanour, check for pallor, and then inspect the abdomen. Look for signs of pregnancy, such as the linea nigra, a dark discoloration on the midline of the abdominal skin, and striae gravidarum, or stretch marks. Previous surgical scars, the usual distension of the abdomen, and fetal movement should also be noted. Is it okay if I feel your tummy now? Please tell me if it hurts you. Place the flat of your hand on the uterine swelling and gently flex your fingers to palpate the upper and lateral edges. Consider the approximate size in relation to gestation and also note fetal movements and any areas of tenderness. The palpation is gentle to avoid triggering contractions or causing discomfort. Watch the patient's face to make sure she's not sore. Place your hands on either side of the uterus and continue to palpate to feel the fetal parts. Assess the lie of the baby. Is it longitudinal, oblique or transverse? This is done by assessing the attitude of the longitudinal fetal axis with the longitudinal maternal axis. Also assess the approximate lycor volume by how easily the fetal parts can be felt. If they are easy to feel and close to the surface, it may be that there is oligohydramnios, too little lycor, or if difficult to feel as far from the surface, there might be polyhydramnios, excess lycor. Place a tape measure from the highest point of the uterine fundus, which is not necessarily in the midline, to the symphysis pubis. To avoid bias, the tape should be placed blank side up. The symphyseal fundal height, or SFH, is measured in centimetres and is plotted on an SFH centile chart. This allows the monitoring of the increase in uterine size to check it is appropriate for gestation. Face the patient's feet and place your hands either side of the lower part of the uterus to identify the presenting part. Once identified, feel carefully to ascertain if it has engaged in the pelvis. A free head that has not engaged is palatable. It can be moved gently from side to side. Place your hand on both sides of the uterus and apply gentle pressure. The fuller side indicates the location of the fetal back. In the third trimester, or labour, it is essential to ascertain the fetal lie presentation and engagement. Everything looks fine. Baby's in a good position and the head is down. Would you mind if I listen to the, your baby's heart? Yep, that's fine. A handheld Doppler is used to listen to the fetal heart. It is placed roughly over the anterior shoulder as located by knowing the presentation and side of the fetal back. Vaginal examination is not routinely performed in pregnancy. Ankle edema should also be checked for in the usual way. Now the examination is done, everything looks perfect. Thanks for your help today.